Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Command. I'm Ruben and this is the first episode on Moon Base Construction. I wanted to build a base for a long time but I didn't know where to get started. I would build a module, put some lander legs on it, and a docking port. But the question was, how do you get all the docking ports to line up? I thought about that for a while and I finally had an idea. What if each module had the same base? All the landing legs would be at the same height and then you put the docking ports on there and the docking ports would all be at the same height so you could dock these things together without having to worry about lining things up because they'd all be the same. Now with the new offset feature it makes it really easy. You can place the docking port around where you want it and then try and offset it and snap it into place. So we're gonna make uh, about three different templates. Template based bases for each module. One's gonna have two ladders Another, that'll be for like the science module. Another will have one ladder for the uh, lander, no, no, the um, hitchhiker can. And then we'll have one with four docking ports. The one with four docking ports, the docking ports will all be separate and we can remove whichever ones we don't want. Now I'm going to have to do a bit of a trick here to confuse the editor so I can pull off one of the uh, ladders. I'm going to want to put it on here with two times symmetry and now it doesn't understand that that one part that those two ladders are connected so you can pull off one of them. So we'll put a docking port at the back. All right, and now we're going to save it as a subassembly. Base module one ladder. All right, now we're going to save this the uh, the base mod the base of the module with two ladders as a subassembly. We'll pull off that ladder and put docking ports all around. We're going to put make each docking port separate so we can pull them off one by one without affecting the others. Make sure they're all in the right position. Let's check it to make sure everything looks all right. And we're going to save that as a subassembly. So now whenever we build a new module for our base, we can just put the same uh, base of that module on. So this one would need one ladder. And we can swap out whatever parts we want. If we want to make this a science lab, we just put that in there. And we can change the, the base of that to the one with two ladders. This is my standard habitat, and this one has the one ladder. Oh, it's like I didn't do that one quite right. I'll have to mess with that. All right, that's where we want it. Change root again, and we'll save this as a subassembly. Okay. Now we can just pop it on there, and then we can put the four ports on there, and we can pop off one port at a time, whatever we need. We can also put things on the bottom of this thing. So let's say we needed a battery. We could put a battery under there or a docking port, whatever you need. Once we have these parts on Moon, we're going to need a way to move them around. And I had two ways of doing that when I built my first base. One was this little car vehicle that I could drive around. It had a grabber on the front and a docking port on the back, and that worked pretty good. The other way was with a sky crane. I would pick up the part and fly around, and that ended up not working out too great. It did work, but the little car was much better. And when I built my Duna base, I again used these little cars, but then I put docking ports off to the side. I put one docking port on one side and a grabber on the other side, and that worked great. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to build this little car. I call them movers, and we're going to put this stuff on the sides. And these are really great. Just grab the part and then drive it where you want it. Dock it into place. 
This will also work as a scout. We're going to send it to Moon first and look for a good construction site, somewhere that's nice and flat. Finally, we're going to need a way to get these parts down to the surface, and for that we're going to build a sky crane. Its job is to fly parts from the station down to the surface. Here's something I saw someone do once, and it, I thought it was such a great idea that I've always used it since. We're going to insert your standard docking port inside the Clampotron Senior, and so you can dock both the larger docking port or the standard one to this. Now that the sky crane is complete, we can send the movers out to look for a good building spot. Click the link if you want to see the sky crane flying the movers out to moon. If not, we'll go straight to moon orbit. Alright, we're going to set the movers down, and then we'll fly back into orbit and rendezvous with the station.
The Sky Crane will wait here at the station for the next module to arrive. Back on Moon, we have the movers here undocking from the lander can. Now the lander can was supposed to hold a Kerbal, but I forgot to put one in. His job would have been to plant a flag at every promising location, but we're going to have to make do without one. Rest will take it along with me, so we'll dock to it and just carry it along. We can always send another Kerbal later. Alright, and now we're going to drive around Moon looking for a good building site. And we're going to keep driving. And more driving. I'll be driving around for a while looking for that perfect building location. But once I find it, I'll start the next video. We'll see you next time.